Somebody asked me, why was object-oriented programming invented? And why was inheritance invented? Well, the primary purpose of object-oriented coding is to better organize your code. Prior to OOP, people would write procedural code, which would be a bit of a mess. And then you could get into something called spaghetti code pretty easily. So in theory, at least, with object-oriented code, you could better organize your code into logical units. These logical units are called classes or objects. Anyhow, this is not going to be a full-blown lesson on object-oriented programming. Now, there's a lot of good ideas in OOP. OOP is short for object-oriented programming. But there's also some stuff that I never liked, and I think it's fallen out of favor. Uh, the thing that I've uh, had my beef against for many years is something called inheritance. Now, inheritance is basically a mechanism built into OOP languages, object-oriented programming languages. Uh, inheritance is a, a, me a mechanic, if you will, or a function of OOP that uh, allows you to re reuse code from other chunks of code. Um, again, I'm not going to go into a full-blown lesson on object-oriented programming. Now, I've done previous videos that you can search on this channel where I talk about how very rarely should you use inheritance. In fact, I always say you should design by interface, which is not my idea. I learned that from my, in the Java days from uh, the refactoring king's Fowler, this guy named Fowler, F-O-W, L-E-R. Anyway, Martin Fowler, he wrote a book and he talks about that. Uh, prefer uh, interfaces over inheritance. You can watch my video on that. E essentially, inheritance was invented with the idea of reusing code. You'd want to reuse code to save time on writing code, perhaps to have less mistakes in your code. You don't want to have uh, duplicate code. You don't want to have code doing the same things because then you're going to have to have updates when you update your code which is inevitable if you reuse code the theory is you would just have to change it in one spot and bing bang boom bob's your uncle you don't have to change it in many different places and now there's a problem with that in that by using inheritance and i won't get into all the details here i think in my previous video i talk about it in depth uh, when you do use inheritance, you're creating much more brittle code, much more brittle code, more easily breakable code. I've seen it firsthand. And people who love inheritance will argue, well, if you had proper coding procedures in place, yada, 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 yada. And this is true, but at the end of the day in the real world, inheritance is brittle. And it should be used very, very, very lightly. So to recap, object-oriented programming, which is a style of programming where it tries to logically separate the code base into logical chunks. You might have a chunk of code called an object that handles data va validation, validating data. You may have another object that is just in charge of uh, authentication, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just a little bit easier to control the code base than the old style procedural coding where everything was all over the place. Although procedural code people argue that that type of coding takes a lot less lines of code so it's easier to debug and you can just have some uh, best practices implemented in your coding structure you have a lead coder who will say okay this is how we structure our procedural code so it doesn't get messy it doesn't get become a mess again a bit of an ideological war there. It's like arguing with people over which language is best or whether they prefer iPhone or uh, Android, Windows or Mac, cheese or bacon, you know, whatever. Anyhow, there you go. Just a short little nerd vlog today. That's it. I got to head out. going to go to lunch. Bye-bye.